you can just hear how bad this spinning uh, rail's going, so I gotta tear it apart, clean it up, I think. I don't think it's a replace part kind of thing, but grease, lube, whatever the heck needs to go into it, because it's just nasty. Squeaky, rickety, dirty, dusty, needs fixed. Back home, finally able to work on this, and I took it apart, put it back together. I happen to have an extra one. Hopefully I can find, extra screw that is, hopefully I can find where that was from, but I'll get started. What I'm using here is just going to be this lubricant here, and I think it only cost me $7. What am I getting? It was $16 at my local Kinsey's, and I'll only need that. I'm using paper towels, so if I drip some of that and other stuff, uh, grease from just handling, and then the uh, normal little screwdriver, taking that off, make sure you actually... You want to stay very organized here. So the easy stuff's getting uh, done here. This is probably one of the most difficult parts to put back in. This is that very, very small screw. And then I'll get the hexagon or pentagon bolt off. Yeah, and that's the that's as far as you have to go on taking off those pieces. So now that you have those top pieces off, you're able to get into the gears and stuff. Get into the thick of it. This one takes a while. And now those are off. Now we're on to pretty much taking this fit, this whatever plate off. So it's just gonna be, you need that bottom piece off and then one, two. Oh, here it is. That's the screw that I'm missing. That's, I knew I'd find it, come on. Let's try and speed run this since I apparently know what I'm doing. And a little reveal. So we have, I'm just gonna call anything a gear, even this long piece here, there's a, uh, a bunch of gears on this gear, connected to this gear. And then you can see another gear there. I'm going to not only do those, lube those up, but I'm thinking even a little bit in other parts. The moving components that are possibly able to make noise, I'm going to put some lube on it. And I guess if uh, there's lube and grease, maybe I'll be able to get away with just using this. And it working just fine but if i do not fix it correctly then i'll be back in uh back in the lab so
don't forget that there's... They put a plastic stopper in it. I almost forgot about it. I was wondering why it wasn't working. But... <clears throat> and of course you'll come into contact with some of that. Just looking at it, and now we'll be able to turn it over and start lubing this up. I can't really call it anything else. I don't know how to separate it. Like, I don't know how to take this piece off. If anything, I think... I think it would be in this very small uh, piece of metal that's not this hunk of metal, but deeper in or underneath might be holding it from being able to be taken out that way but i'm not sure yeah. let's get to the point <sighs> then i didn't open it so I guess maybe even this side. go yeah so okay so I had put quite a bit in there and what I'm thinking is it's maybe a little overdone so it as I as I tipped it this way I'm sure that it's too much so I'm gonna let some get out um, and then I'll maybe dab a little bit around with the paper towel to help dry a little bit off and then I'll show it being put back together. That's not the best feeling that it's still making noise, but it's, it's whatever. We'll actually see when I put it back together what it'll be able to do. What it'll, whatever. And the best part of all, so I have, when I put this back on, I have, what's the easiest way to see this? I have, <laughs> thank God, <laughs> I just got news that my tight end in fantasy is not questionable, but healthy. I have still, I think, four players questionable. One's Tyreek Hill, and I kind of need him. But we have one opening, two opening, and this needs to... This is stationary, so I have a piece here. This... This piece that I'm rotating around, this pl white plastic piece, this needs to line up. There are two very small little um things here that poke into the holes and you need to put that on correctly there we go so i was trying to put it on and when you try and put this on the wrong way where it's not lined up 
you can especially see up here there's a noticeable gap a uh, noticeable gap it will connect to the bottom correct yes but you need to line it up i'll do it again And then you put these screws in, of course, there's three of them, don't forget one. Now that I've got the three, I think they're even the same size uh, screws here, I can put this back on. Checking the noise again, even though I did just two minutes ago. And when you put this uh, bottom piece on, I don't think it's even necessary, but it's it's there. And well, I don't know why I didn't say it. You have to put it on with the with the concave. Uh, screw hole there because if not that back's not gonna yep the gap again and you then throw God, the screw in now that we have all the bottom pieces on correct looks like it we can start put nice nice start putting the top pieces together Remember, I did not lube any of this. So, you know, if I go out and it makes noise, it could be from that. And the uh, one very difficult piece here. So I have that hexagon thing on first. And is that hexagon? I forget. Yeah, hex is six, I think. And then this, your nice tiny screw, barely fits into this thing. It's... Also, the screw hole, there's four holes and then only one screw hole. It's the one with the, I don't even know what you want to call that, little indication of the plastic. But the way you want to do it, I think, hold this up straight. And with your big, meaty fingers, just try and place it in the screw hole and hope it stays up straight. And then these weird things, you just have to line it up. Oops. It's these little, little red discs and then that. Oops. So you just got, does that really go? I guess. Just got to line them up. It goes that far down, whatever. That's the easiest part, probably. That sounds pretty smooth to me. I'll still take it out and see what it sounds like, but that sounded pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the, I guess, I mean, I hate to say simplicity of it, you did have to take apart the entire thing, but definitely, once you got in there, we've got a good bit of the lubricant on it, it definitely works, as far as I know so far, so, you know, time to take it in the field, take it out of the office, see if it works. Okay, so that's sounding better to me, honestly. 
I still got some noise to it, even though there's tons of background noise. Got a road behind me and a highway pumping, but I am happy. I think I think that's strictly just noise from the line, the fishing line itself. So I think everything's good. It's a good improvement to what it was. Uh, Cast this around a little bit. I actually got a crankbait sitting way up there and then a uh, nice orange bobber. Let's not throw the uh, the lure into the tree though. But yeah, I am happy with the result. Thanks for watching.